What's good? We back. Uh, review, reaction to, uh, you know, Sorek beating uh, Juan Estrada by majority decision. And Sorek, Sorek is uh, Sorek, that's what I call him. I can't pronounce his full name. Um, he was the stronger guy in there. Um, but Estrada boxed good, man. It, this is a close competitive fight. It was a majority decision. I think it was uh, 114, 114. Uh, maybe 115, 113, and then it was like 117 and 111. That was closer to what Harold Letterman had. Um, but, you know, this was an amazing fight. I mean, you can see why some people consider Estrada the best Mexican fighter right now. And some people do. Because he's smart. You know, he, he circled away from a Sorek's left hand the whole night. And he had him stepping off balance. And Sorek couldn't, couldn't, couldn't cut the ring off on this guy, Estrada. Estrada, you know... Um, Juan Estrada is a good mover. He's a good boxer. It was just the fact that Sork was just strong as hell. Did you see his? Did y'all see his calves? Like the calves of a of a of a middleweight or somebody said a middleweight, a heavyweight. He, he's very very strong. But Estrada did did try to do what he had to do. He got away from that left hand, and he, he put he put a uh, you know. He put Sork in, in strange in the strange uh, positions, and um. You know, he tried to capitalize on, I mean, you know, Juan Estrada did everything he needed to do to win this fight. It was some fact he wasn't a big enough puncher, he wasn't strong enough. I mean, it'd be at times where Sorg would just punch him or start to put, or punch him or, or put his body weight on him and, and this dude Juan Estrada would fly across the ring. Every time Sorg was hitting him, especially early on, this dude was just flying across the ring. It was just, he was moving him and Sorg is just physically a, a bully at this super flyweight division, man. You know, Juan Estrada, you can tell that this dude got the goods, you know. He got a good boxing IQ. He got good foot leg movement. He he got he, he had good punch output. He's very smart. He circle he did what a lot of other fighters are you don't do. They circle away from the fighter's strong hand and Sorg was a southpaw. He circled away from the straight left hand and he and he, and he made stuff happen. It was just Sorg was just too strong. He was just too strong. His punches and, and his punches was too that was just effective. I mean he hit Juan Estrada, Juan Estrada just moved, his whole body would move. It was a point I thought he was just trying to move with the punches and roll, roll the punches or something, but it was Sorg just just bullying him around, bullying him around when he was when he wanted to come forward. And Estrada would sidestep him like a matador doing a bull, but um, Sorg would come back in a position to fire again, and when he landed, the impact was moving, you know, Juan Estrada's whole body, even though his face didn't really, you know, look beat up. But, um, you know, both guys did some good body work. Um, you know, you know, both guys did. It's just Sork, man. Sork is just so strong at super flyweight. He's so strong. I got to keep stressing that, man. And that was the difference. It wasn't the fact that Juan Estrada was outboxed. It wasn't the fact that he was out skilled or out finesse. He was out. He was out powered. He was out gun. You know, Sork was just too strong, too big. And um, you know, Juan Estrada didn't have enough firepower in his in his in his arsenal. To deal with with this juggernaut at super flyweight, man. I, that's what I would say, man. A rematch would be nice, but I, I just think, um, you know, I just think it's just two. It's like it was just two different fighters in the ring tonight, two different weights. You know, that's what I mean. Two different weight classes, man. I know this dude had a three pound advantage, but it seemed more than that. And um, he was just hitting Juan Estrada and just moving him. But Estrada is definitely a top bill fighter. He was just dealing with. A different beast tonight. That's what I, that's what I can say. He was dealing with a different beat, beast. I know a lot of people gonna complain about Harry Letterman's scorecard. Harry Letterman likes a guy that comes forward and, and just bangs it out. He thinks because you're aggressive coming forward, you're more effective, and that's not true. A lot of those rounds, Ron Estrada was effective. You know, sidestepping this guy, rolling away, stepping away from his left hand, stepping to Estrada's. He was stepping to his own left hand. He was delivering the bang and, and keeping his sword guy off balance. It's definitely closer than what uh, you know than what Harry Letterman got. But I, I agree. I think I didn't score it, but just watching it, I thought Sorg was more powerful, more effective, and I thought I thought he edged him. I think 117, 111, whatever that was, and here Letterman's scorecard was too wide. But let me know how y'all feel. We gone.